hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be making you guys some buffalo chicken dip now guys i use one rotisserie chicken i didn't use the whole chicken because we really don't like dark meat well some of us do but i just used the white meat and yeah you can either use the rotisserie chicken or you can just make some chicken breast All right guys, once you separated your chicken, you wanna go ahead and shred it. You don't want the pieces too big because you know, you don't wanna be biting into all that, but you don't want it too small that you can't even taste it. You want to go ahead and add that into your mixing bowl and go ahead and put one eight ounce packet of cream cheese one cup of ranch and one cup of hot sauce i use frank fred hots whatever i don't really use that hot sauce that's why i'm kind of off about it but yeah and then you want to use one and a half cup of mozzarella cheese and one and a half cup of shredded cheese and i just seasoned it a little bit with some garlic powder and some onion powder and some black pepper you know i had to season something One thing you have to make sure you do is leave your cream cheese out to let it soften so it won't be like me and you're mixing it and it's hard to mix or whatever. So yeah, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. So by the time you're finished with all this, you can go ahead and pop that thing in the oven. All right, guys, you want to go ahead and put your dip in an oven-safe dish. Y'all don't know how many times I had to retake that because I kept getting tongue twisted. But, yeah, I used a cast iron skillet, but whatever you want to use, go ahead and put it in there. And you want to go ahead and make sure it's all around there. You don't want one big glob in one little circle. I mean, in one big circle. You don't want to do none of that. So, yeah, um, go ahead and mix it around and then top it with a little bit of shredded cheese and a little bit of mozzarella or you can do a lot, but I want to do a little bit since I use so much cheese in the mixture. All right, y'all, that is literally it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can go ahead and pop that in the oven for about 20 minutes. And then after the 20 minutes, you can go ahead and up that oven to about 400, 405 degrees Fahrenheit just to get it browning on the top you know so once all that is done you're going to see the finished product right about now <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll see you guys next time if you're new here subscribe and stay a while and if you're a returning subscriber hey boo share this video with a friend see you guys later bye